Hello and welcome to Food Vision USA in Chicago, where I'm joined by Camille Delebec from Affineur, one of the winners of our 2016 Trailblazers Challenge. So congratulations on your success, Sir Camille. Thank you so, so much, Sean. You're doing something weird and wonderful with microbes and, and coffee beans. Tell, tell me more. Yeah, so we're exploring the use of fermentations mm -hmm. in coffee. So mm -hmm. the idea is to bring a, ferm a controlled fermentation step just before roasting to kind of like unleash new flavor for coffee, but also make it healthier, you know, so more digestible and um, easier on the stomach, basically. So this is kind of fermented coffee, if you like, or double yeah. fermented coffee? Yeah, maybe. yeah, double fermented coffee, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so you're starting off with these microbes, and um, where are you getting the microbes from? Are you finding them natu they naturally occurring, or are you doing something weird to them? <laughs> they are, no, there are there are natural microbes, so yeah. the idea, you know, we have like a very long story with fermented food, mm. uh, like 7,000 years, you know, but the idea is now that we can start, you know, picking those natural microbes out and do the fermentations and start bringing those fermentations at different step mm. of the food the food chain really mm -hmm. uh, so we are choosing specific microbes mm -hmm. um, that are going to chew away all the bitterness and astringency of traditional coffee and also like chew away those molecules that are irritants that are mm -hmm. not really interested in the coffee to make to make for a better coffee so how did you know which microbes would chew away the bitter bits of the coffee that you want to yeah, so it's, it's basically a discussion between our chemistry platforms. So it's understanding you know, which molecules are responsible for what in coffee. Mm. Um, and, and then we have a screening platform mm -hmm. that selects for specific natural microbes that are able to basically you know, chew away or feed out of those molecules mm. that are, that are not, not desirable. So is it kind of well understood then which of the components in coffee you're trying to target then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fairly well. You know, there's mm. like 20, 30 years of, 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 uh, of research on, mm. on coffee chemistry really. So mm -hmm. people do understand uh, which molecules are responsible to what, for what to, to some mm -hmm. extent. Um, but really, like the coffee industry right now, it doesn't have the tools to really get rid of them mm -hmm. or you know, to enrich in more interesting molecules. You know, they're basically just sourcing mm -hmm. and, and roasting. As so what does your final product taste like? Is it just kind of smoother than regular coffee? Or? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a, a smoother is an interesting um, word. We mm -hmm. have, we've had a lot of people that kind of compare it as a hybrid between a tea and a coffee, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but basically, Basically, you know, we try to mm. uh, not standardize coffee, but just to kind of erase the not so interesting notes in coffee. So all the bitterness and astringency that tends to be uh, kind of over overpowering all the more um, interesting notes, all the floral, mm. all the chocolate notes. Um, so the idea is not to not to yeah standardize coffee, but kind of like shine a new light on each coffee terroirs by using mm. those fermentations to kind of erase what's not interesting. So who do you see as the target consumer? Is this kind of the coffee aficionado, or is this people that maybe? don't like coffee that much because of the bitterness. Yeah, yeah we think that it's probably mm -hmm. the former. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, uh, the, 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 coffee, the coffee market is, is mm -hmm. kind of like uh, changing right now. So mm -hmm. there's kind of like a, a rush towards higher quality coffees. Mm -hmm. um, and we think we just can come with a better product uh, mm -hmm. by using those, those fermentations. But the idea really is to uh, make for a product that is, uh, has a wider appeal, you know. And so we have a lot of people actually that come from the tea world, from the fine food world, from mm -hmm. the wine world. Uh, so it's interesting to to to, to have those kinds. So this is really a gourmet kind of product. Then. It is. It mm. is. And the idea is not to start there, but yeah, to I, I guess to 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 stay there. Mm. Uh, but we wanted to start the conversation there yeah. uh, to kind of like have mm. a conversation about this this interface between craft mm -hmm. food and mm. and science, and and show that science can really be interesting for craft food. And, and moving forward, you know, the mm. idea is to apply the platform mm. to bring to the market all the cultured products. Um, so in coffee, for example, there's kind of an interesting gap between Arabica and, and Robusta mm -hmm. in terms of quality, in terms of price, and mm -hmm. you know, this gap is gonna increase with climate change and everything. Um, so that's mm -hmm. one way that where we can kind of uh, bridge the gap using the fermentation to increase the quality of Robusta coffee. Moving away from, from mm. coffee, we'll get mm. chocolate, at tea, and also okay. at grains, for example. Mm. And grains, there's some really interesting things to do on proteins mm. um, using the fermentation. So, so this is, you've got a whole platform, really. This is just the first product yeah. in your platform. Yeah, yeah. to start a conversation. We, we, we brought it to the market mm. using Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. um, the idea was not to really um, hide behind the technology, but but to put it at the forefront mm. and have this conversation with the early adopters about you know what fermentation can, can do for 
different foods. So how do you talk about it to consumers, at cultured coffee? Yeah, so we think cultured actually is a really interesting word because, mm -hmm. you know, it has this history, you know, with cultured butter and everything. But so it's, it's a word that has been used in the mm -hmm. context of fermentation. Mm -hmm. but it's also a word that is, you know, this connotation, connotation of like smartness and like intelligent food. Mm -hmm. and, and so, yeah, so that's, that's the word that we're using for now and we hope to kind of mm -hmm. almost build it as, as almost a, like a label for, for smart fermented foods. Okay, great. Well, congratulations uh, on your success so far. Thanks yeah. very much. Thank you so much, Emily. Pleasure.